Hey y'all, welcome back to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha and today we are going to be pantry hacking some brownies. So we've been sharing a lot of pantry meals with you guys today, but we wanted to shift focus a little bit and we are going to be bringing you a pantry dessert instead today. Whether you are a center brownie piece lover or you like the edges, you are going to think these are easy and delicious and fall absolutely in love with these black bean brownies. Yes, I said black bean brownies. Wait, 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 before you click off the video, please just hear me out. I promise it's all gonna be okay. One, I promise you cannot taste the beans in these brownies. Two, they are super fudgy and super decadent. And three, they taste just like a traditional brownie that you are used to. Okay, hopefully you guys are still with me here. I promise that if you want something sweet and chocolatey but you don't have any flour on hand or maybe you do but you wanna make sure you save it for something like our everything dough recipe, that these are the sweet dessert that you want to try. Plus, cleanup is an absolute breeze. You only need a food processor and a blender plus the baking pan that you're going to put the brownies in and that is all of the dishes that you are going to get dirty in your kitchen so less mess for you to clean up in the end. All right, enough talking. I promise that you aren't gonna regret this recipe, so let's get right into it and show you just how easy it is. Let's go. All right, this recipe is so easy that you are going to be shocked. The first step is going to be to lay out a kitchen towel and then add your beans. We are using canned beans, but you can cook your own from dried and then use those if you want. You want to get these as dry as you possibly can. The beans are acting as our flour here, so it's really important you get as much moisture off of them as possible, even switching out towels if needed. Once they are dried, you are going to be pouring those into a blender or food processor. We have used both successfully, but using a blender here for the video. Then we are going to pour in most of our other wet ingredients, starting with the coconut oil. You could swap this for vegan butter if needed, and then brown sugar and maple syrup. You could swap the brown sugar for some coconut or date sugar, and then in with some vanilla. Once you have all of those in, you are going to put your blender lid on and process for about two minutes or so, depending on your blender. You are looking for a smooth texture and you shouldn't have any pieces of beans left at the end. Next, you are going to add your dry ingredients, starting with cocoa powder, some baking powder, and then some salt and we are going to process this again. You want to start on a slow setting if using a blender so that the powder doesn't poof up everywhere. Finally, we are going to stir in some unsweetened applesauce. If you are using a food processor, take out the blade before adding this so you can stir without any issues. And lastly, most of the chocolate chips. We are using vegan chocolate chunks here, but you could use regular or mini chips if that's what you have on hand. We're not adding any, but you could totally add in some walnuts to this too if that's your type of brownie that you like. Gently fold those in and it's time to pour your batter into the pan. You can use either a well-greased baking pan, a parchment lined pan like we are, or a silicone pan. We like parchment lined so that you can pull it right out. We top with more chocolate chips before they go into the oven and then bake at 350 degrees for 60 to 75 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. Then let them sit for 15 minutes after they come out. Since they are fudgy, they really need the time to set up. Cut them as big or as small as you want, or shoot. Just take the whole pan and a fork into the closet if that's what you need right now. We won't tell. You could even top with some vegan caramel sauce. Enjoy. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope that you are doing well and make sure to follow us, give this video a like, and comment down below what dessert you'd like to see next. We'll see you soon. I knew you was gonna come in here and try to eat these brownies. I even got you a cup of milk. <laughs> 